Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today, I want to talk about habits and why they're important for you to do the work that matters on a consistent basis. Habits are frustrating because a lot of times we're not really conscious of the habits that we do. And that's important because something called the Pareto Principle. And the Pareto Principle is 80% of the success or failure you face is really based on 20% of the things you do. Habits are important to me because I've personally seen how they've affected my life. Habits are basically risk mitigation. As I said, that 20% really figures into the 80% of your good or bad day. And when I was younger, I didn't understand that, so I had a mixture of good and bad habits that could leave me at best in a neutral position or at worst, worse than when I started. How bad can it be if you don't form good habits? If you don't form good habits, you're not consistently capturing the value of a day. You may get lucky some days and have some positive motion, but generally you'll end up looking up at the end of the day figuring what just happened. Good habits are a way to mitigate the risk of a bad day happening. Will it ruin my life if I don't have good habits? Potentially. Depends on how you categorize your life. If you think life is about succeeding in terms of doing interesting things and taking on interesting projects and being a trusted member in your community, sure, your life will be ruined. If you're looking for the mediocre and the average, well, then of course not. But if you were, why are you watching these videos anyway? How can changing your habits make you a more impactful leader? Changing your habits can make you a more impactful leader by mitigating the risk you face by the changing complex day that every leader faces. If your team knows that they're gonna consistently see gratitude and they're gonna consistently be heard and they're going to consistently get a one-on-one -on -one to feel listened to, they will feel better and give you better work. And as a result, you'll feel better in the process. So, looking through the lenses of self-awareness, execution, and direction, how can we implement a habit practice in our life to understand what habits we have? Self-awareness. Well, first you have to be aware of the power of a habit. The power of a habit is, after a certain amount of time doing this consistent thing over and over and over again, it doesn't take as much willpower to knock out. So, if you're starting to do something on a consistent basis, and you're starting to do it in the same way. And if you organize that energy in the right way, wow, you can get some really good things done without too much of a hassle. Execution. How do you execute on understanding your habits? Well, one thing I like to do is I like to do a habit audit. And a habit audit looks like a big spreadsheet with three things. It's Q, it's routine, and it's reward. And during the week, I like to write down what habits I notice. What do I do on a consistent basis that ends up more or less a habit? And after a while, let's say after that week, I take a look and I audit it. I look specifically at the routine and at the reward I got. The reason why I do that is there's no real reason to change the cue or even really the reward of your habit if you have to. Your body is reacting to a time and a feeling. And if you change that time and a feeling, it's gonna feel out of place. The good news about recording that cue and the reward in a proactive way is now you can use it to change whatever that habit was into a better habit. Direction. If you wanna be honest about your habits and you wanna propel a conversation about the habits that you have, you have to tell people this information. You have to tell them what habits you have and make that public. Through that, you might start finding people telling you their habits and you could start putting them together into more of a team habit or a group habit or a company habit that propels your team into doing good work more consistently. And the great thing is, once you do that, you're able to take more risk because people will feel comfortable knowing that the basics will be done, at least the ones that they expect. So, self-awareness. 
You want to make sure that you know the power of habit. Execution. You want to get the habits down. You want to understand what they are. Both all the cue, the routine, and the reward. And then direction. You want to be public about it so that maybe you and your team can get together and put those habits in a nice place. Ah, so you and your team can get together and make those habits a team thing, not just an individual one. Good habits are the difference between situational success and consistent. Team habits are the difference between lucky success and consistent success. And those that are consistent are the ones that are going to stick around. In the description box, you'll find a bunch of books that talk about the research, some exercises, and a lot more deep dive information that I can't get to in this video. They've helped me clear my thinking out on this topic and help me start a conversation with you. Check them out. This isn't a one-way conversation, nor is it a two-way conversation. Your thoughts on this topic are very important, especially when it comes to habits, because we all have different habits and we all have different points of view to where we're going. This is a tribe of leaders in the Life is Usual community. And for us to get the most out of the knowledge of each other, we have to talk. So spend some time, get in the comment section, and mix it up with the rest of us. We're waiting on you.